With the pace of progress in medicine, some parents feel overwhelmed. They wonder if their children really need some of the newer vaccines, like hepatitis B and the varicella vaccine against chickenpox. While most kids will get chickenpox and get over it, every year in the United States, more than 7,000 children are hospitalized with chickenpox. 40 will die. It's impossible to tell which child will have problems. Hepatitis B infection damages the liver and can lead to liver cancer, cirrhosis, and death. Each year, more than 200,000 people in the United States are infected, and each year, 6,000 people die from it. But many people don't realize they have it. Even if a pregnant woman unknowingly carries the hepatitis B virus, she can help prevent the disease in her newborn if the child is immunized within 12 hours after birth. Hepatitis B immunizations, like many others, are not just for babies. Older kids who did not receive it early are required to begin the series before entering certain grades. Most new hepatitis B infections occur during adolescence. Hepatitis B can be transmitted through sexual contact or contact with a contaminated needle, which can happen during tattooing or body piercing. One of the biggest concerns for parents is, will the immunization cause the disease it's supposed to prevent? The fact is, it's impossible to acquire a disease from most immunizations. Only vaccines made with weakened live viruses, like the varicella and oral polio vaccine, can possibly cause illness, and that risk is extremely low. In the case of polio, the risk is being eliminated. The current recommendation indicates that only the inactivated polio virus vaccine be used. Another big concern, what if my child has a bad reaction? How do you feel, Phoebe? The most common reactions to vaccines are minor, including redness and swelling where the shot was given, fever and rash. There have been improvements made in vaccines in the last few years. The American Academy of Pediatrics now recommends the DTAP vaccine, which uses only parts of the killed pertussis cell. This vaccine is associated with significantly fewer side effects. Okay, Denise, how's everything been since Riley had her immunizations? She's been fine. Any um, doctor's visits or medication? Jeff and Denise Lawson believe the benefits of immunization for their daughter Riley far outweigh the risks. My feeling sort of was the odds of her having a reaction are probably pretty low. I'm sort of a scientific person and everything, and if you look at the odds, I mean, you have to get your kids immunized. There's just no way that a kid in today's age should go through without being protected against all the nasty bugs and stuff that's out there.